Let's talk about sections a little bit. Um, you've got reading in the in the textbook and, and some questions and then some worksheets and things about sections. Um, you'll, you'll be drawing a few sections in 1103 and a little bit in 1105. Uh, 1107 is a course where we really go uh, in depth into section views. But basically what the reason creating a section is to show some feature that cannot be seen in one of the principal views. Okay, because we want to avoid dimensioning hidden lines unless there's no other way to, uh, to dimension something. And so if we look at this object here, uh, it's just a fairly typical like a hub, okay. Uh, it's fairly typical. You're going to draw several things like this, okay? Um, but this particular one has a uh, a groove in the backside, and in in all of our principal views, the only way we can see that groove is is if it's a hidden line. And so I'll change over and show. Okay, and so the only way we can see it is, is as it's were a hidden line. And we want to avoid dimensioning hidden lines. So we would create a section view so that we can see that. All right, so let me turn those hidden lines back off. Okay, so <clears throat> the book talks about, and the naming of sections are, are a little confusing. There's a full section and a half section. And then there's there's revolved and removed and broken out and aligned, okay? But a full section is when something is cut fully in half, okay? It's cut fully in half. A half section is when it's only cut into a quarter. And when you view the section, you only see half of the object that has been cut out. So try not to get confused. And then when you go to the software, it, it doesn't go along with that naming convention. So here in Inventor, uh, I want to see a section. If I want to see a full section view, I can edit it in Inventor, <clears throat> but it's called a half section view because it's cutting it in half. Okay, and I'm going to cut on that plane. Okay, and so now that's, that's my section view. Um, let me make this wireframe so it looks more like... Mm, that, doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't help very much, does it? Okay, here we go, visible edges only. So this is kind of what your drawing would look like, but there would be hatching involved with it. So we have cut the object in half. But it's a, we see the full cut, so it's called a full section. All right. If, if I want what's what we call a half section in the software, it's called a quarter section view. Except for that one. Backwards. It's not what I wanted. Oh, I wanted a three-quarter section view. That's what I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is what we would call a half section. In that when we draw it, half of it is in section view. The other half is in regular visible line view. Okay. So don't confuse the software terminology with what we would call it on a drawing. Now let's look at um, this object here. You're, you're going to see a lot of these kinds of objects, okay? Um, normally we would try to dimension something fully uh, with our cutting plane lines going, you know, on the axes, the x-axis, the y-axis. C axis. Um, in a case like this, we may not be able to, uh, if we were to cut it 
across the x-axis. In this way, none of the holes would be visible. If we performed our cutting plane on the, on the z-axis here, we would get two different size holes, which would be the best way to, to show that, in my opinion, okay? Um, some of the drawings that you will do or you will see, the, the cutting plane is actually aligned so that it goes through different holes. Because when we create a drawing, and, and you may see some like this, where the cutting plane doesn't go through the holes. <clears throat> but the, the, the standard way of displaying them is to revolve these holes around so that they would be shown. In an AutoCAD, it's easy. You just draw them. In Inventor, you would have to create the, the cutting planes in a different location. Okay, um, so let me show you one where this is going to be a little difficult. And I, it, it's difficult for me to hit right on the center marks for those without doing some. Okay, and, and just so you know, the, the way to fix that would be to rotate this view up here by 30 degrees so that those are on a, on a plane. But here we can see we've got one hole shown as, as a threaded hole with, with the thread lines and the other hole shown. This would be the preferred method to do that as opposed to not showing that here. Okay, I'm not going to bore you too much with talking about sections. You, you can read the book. You can see the examples. Uh, if you need more examples to look at, you can go back to your, your technical drawing with engineering graphics tech books and go to the, um, the chapter on section views. And there'll be lots and lots of examples there for you. Okay, if you've got questions, send me an email or, or come see us in the lab, okay?